Hi everybody, my name is Freddie Arsenal and I'm the Director of Development for the Eskenazi School at Indiana University and I'm here to talk to you today about three easy ways that you can support art, architecture, design, and merchandising at IU with a planned gift. Uh, I'm here today with Matt Treadwell. Matt is a planned giving attorney with the IU Foundation. He is on the national board of the National Association of Charitable Gift Planners and he's on faculty at the Lilly School of Philanthropy. So we have a lot of knowledge in Matt, and he's coming to share it with us today. So Matt, um, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm, I love talking about planned giving. Great, you, here we go. Um, first things first, what is a planned gift? Yeah, so I like to say that planned giving and a planned gift is anything that is not just a check or cash. It's something that's going to take a little bit more thought and planning. Um, it's typically, typically going to be something that's more future-based than right now. Okay, so... A planned gift is planned. Yeah, it's okay. right there in the name. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. And um, so, if someone wanted to support the Eskenazi School with a planned gift, can you tell us like just three easy ways they could do that? Yeah. So there's three very basic ways that you can uh, support through a planned gift. Um, the first one's going to be if you took your life insurance policy and named IU Foundation and Eskenazi School as a beneficiary of that. Typically, that can be done by reaching out to your life insurance agent and saying, "I need to change the beneficiary." Um, another way that can be done, it's very similar. Pretty easy as well is through your retirement account or an IRA. Um, so changing the beneficiaries of that, and so that's going to be again you're going to reach out to your agent, request a beneficiary change form. But a lot of times now you can do that online, and the large, longest part of the process is just remembering your password or maybe changing your password. <laughs> right. um, and then the uh, a, another simple, most common, by far the most common way of doing this is through your will or living trust. Um, naming IU and Eskenazi School as a beneficiary in that, um, that's when you hear the term bequest come through, because that's when you're getting charitable with your will or trust. Okay, so th thinking about a bequest, if, if someone has made uh, as the Eskenazi School a beneficiary in their will, can you share with us why it might be important to share that with us? Yeah, there's a couple of good reasons why it'd be very important to share with us. One, we want to make sure that the language in your will or trust is correct. Um, we want to make sure that it's going to the IU Foundation, which is the 501c3 that holds most of those funds and not the university. We also want to make sure that it's going to those programs that you want it, that the donor wants it to go to and that are we're going to be able to make sure that we can best complete the goals of the donor. Gotcha. Um, we want to make sure that we have the people in place, the resources in place to actually implement those. And then finally, we want to be able to recognize and thank those donors during their lifetime. Yes, definitely my favorite part. So there, there you have it. It's three very easy ways. You can do uh, a beneficiary in your will, in your life insurance policy, or your retirement uh, funds. And so um, thank you for being with us today. I think this is incredibly helpful for us. And if you do want to support the Eskenazi School through a plan gift, please feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to help and we would be grateful for the support. Um, thank you very much. See you next time.